everyone. Thank you so much for checking out Crafty Little Rosebud here on YouTube. Today I am doing a plan with me for the week of March 11th through March 17th for um, St. Patrick's Day. Um, I'm trying something a little bit different in March. Instead of doing um, two weeks at a time, I'm trying to just do one week at a time and just see if that can kind of reduce the length of my videos. We'll see how this goes for the month of March. So I've got this different sets of um, pages here. This was not actually purchased as a kit. They were purchased separate, separately from Brandy's shop, but they actually match perfectly. So I'm gonna use those. And then I pulled some other sheets from Perfect Prints Co. Um, another one from Perfect Prints Co. And these date covers from Bodacious Prints. And we're gonna use these to kind of make up a kit for this week. Check out the description below. I put links to all of the shops that um, I feature in the video and use, as well as I also have links to my social media, and I also put down referral links and discount codes that I currently have access to down there. So I already did lay down these two stickers and this top one here. These were from one of the Mambi sticker books. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and get those used up. And we're just gonna start um, taking as many pieces as we can. Um, again, I've already changed my mind on how I am using this. So um, I am going to use the socialite a little bit differently this month than what I did last month. But first I will lay it down like I typically do where I get my header at the top. And a lot of these are made to fit an Erin Condren, so they don't quite fit this planner the way that they would fit the others. So I have been having to pull up stickers, move stickers, and different things like that. And what I'm realizing is I should not have laid these down first because they do not peel up very well. But um, I will make it work. So let me get this laid out and I'm going to go ahead and get my full boxes here laid out and then I will be right back. Okay, so I also went ahead and laid out the date covers. I used the kind of peachy tone that was right here. Um, I thought that would go pretty well and I've laid out my um, full boxes. I do still have these left over but I figured these could actually go with another kit or something if I wanted them to. And then these, of course, did not even go with this set, so I will be able to set those aside and use those later. So this is what I have left out of what I pulled, and now I'm just going to kind of lay it out. Now, how I like to set this up is I really like, um, what I was doing is just kind of this was open to whatever, and then down here was YouTube, wellness, and chores. I'm still going to keep it similar. But I think what I'm actually going to do is up here is going to be Instagram. Right here, um, I might fill in with stuff. I haven't decided. I thought about doing Etsy there, but I wasn't sure. And then right here is still going to be YouTube. And I'm just going to see how this goes. Or I could keep this open and just do odd and ends, like when I've done like a homework assignment, something at work, and then keep these to social media. I'm still debating. So I figured I would just kind of lay stickers down and see what feels right. Um, but I do know that YouTube is going to remain the same. And I'm going to use these hearts here because I, these are something I don't see myself actually using again. And we're going to use this green one because again, it's not something I see myself wanting to use. So. We're gonna go ahead and lay down these YouTube stickers or what I'm using for YouTube stickers. So, and I'm actually having a lot of fun with this planner and um, kind of trying out new things. I've been using a lot of Erin Condren kits. Um, 
and it's been really uh, interesting seeing how they fit and what works best and every time I think I'm getting a hang of it I decide to do something different so and I'm actually decided with this planner I've been using the super mom planner to kind of make like list of everything I need to do so with this one I'm kind of documenting more of what I've done and um, I, I like doing it that way so far. So since I've got that little bar there, I'm going to leave that alone and not put any of these through there. But I do want to put some right there. So let's go ahead. And pull these clovers. And they are cut different sizes. That's just how she does her stuff. Um, so I've kind of grown accustomed to that. So we're going to do the clovers. Right through here. And I know it's going to create a little bit of a gap. It shouldn't be too, too bad. And I'm going to line something through there in a minute, too. So. So I'm really curious to those of you that do celebrate St. Patrick's Day. What do you all do for it? For me, um, I used to go out to the bars, <laughs> but since having my daughter, I don't really go out very often anyways, let alone taking the time to go out to a bar. So what do you do when you're not going to a bar for St. Patrick's Day? Very curious to know. I'm just going to take these right here. And add these in at the bottom of this because I did not lay these down very straight. And so I kind of want to fill in that spot, which doesn't make a huge difference with this planner because you can't even really see this little light pinky color because the background for this month is already kind of that pinky color. But still laying them down because I see them there. And, um,. I think I'm going to leave that like that. You know what? I'm going to add one more. We'll go ahead and we will add these in there under that pinky color. And that way, on the days I'm not doing um, YouTube, I can focus on Instagram or Etsy. So in this, I'm, I'm really just filling in space. Because um, I, I thought about changing it up, but I like using that top bar to put just like my top three or things I'm doing that day or one important thing, something like that. So these will just be left open. And you know what? I'll even put a little checklist in them. Ooh, or do I want to put checklist up here? We're going to do checklist up here because I think they're actually going to work really well up there. And so let's do the pink one. Um, we'll go ahead and do green over this. I want to put yellow over that. Yeah, you know, I'll go ahead and do a yellow one over that. And I am going to do something a little bit different with this. You'll see in just a minute. I am going to lay headers up here. So, and the cool thing is, is I really don't do um, anything specific for Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. You know, it's whatever comes up. So, we'll do that right there. And then what I want to add is 
I might do like a today, a today, a to do, and a to do. Or I could do littles. We'll just do littles. Okay, so I got the littles laid out. And when I do get done laying all this out, I will show you all where I've put everything. Now, I think for down here though, because this is um, YouTube and you know, this is the today's that I'm doing that. I think I'm going to go ahead and lay out these today's just to kind of get them used up. And again, when am I going to pick something that I can kind of tie this color in? I don't see it happening very often. So why not use up what I can? So I'm just going to lay these little today's through here. So, and like I said, for these, when I don't have YouTube, I will do an Instagram post or focus on my Etsy or something like that and try to do it that way. So, and I will, I... At this point in my classes, I am doing two master degree classes at a time, so it is a lot more time consuming. So taking the time to get new stuff up on Etsy is really hard right now. Um, so this will probably be a little bit more Instagram related, but I will try my best. And I figure this spot up here for Saturday, I can post an event. And then for Sunday, I can always add in one of these boxes if we have something come up for that day. So I think, let's see, I don't have my wellness stickers out, but this will be my wellness column. I'll write in something I do for wellness. And what I've decided is for wellness um, or fitness, it can be any of that if I decide to read a book that I enjoy, that'll be wellness. If I decide to do a face mask, that'll be wellness. And what I'm going to do is just document that each day. And then for this bottom bar, it's chores. So anything I decide to clean up um, that day, I will put down. And I'm trying to think from this page, you know what? I said wellness can be anything, and it can, but I'm going to go ahead and lay out these little fitness bars. That way they're in use. See, they've got the little fitness thing on it. And it doesn't necessarily have to mean I'm doing like um, a big workout or anything. This can be anything at all. And then I will also go ahead and put the little fork and knife icons down. And I'm actually not going to track dinner because I do that in my super mom, but um, I can write down like a healthy snack or something like that that I've eaten that day. go ahead and I will lay those down and I'll put those under um, wellness as well which means I want to alternate the colors a little bit so I will do okay so I think I've used all that I'm going to use here is what is left of this page here's what's left of this page this one I've still got lots of headers left Lots of date covers left and a couple full boxes left. Now, let me just show you what I ended up doing. Um, I've got the date covers laid out there. Um, I am going to find some date dots and date dot and um, date those. And then I've got my check boxes of littles. I've got my deco boxes and then these are open. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to write Etsy in those or Instagram or if I'm just going to leave them as is. And then this is for YouTube here. And then this is my wellness section. So I'm going to put like a healthy snack I do or a food alternative 
and then any kind of little um, workout I do. And then down here, I'll write in one chore that I've done that day. And then over here, I will use this for probably an Instagram post, be it um, going on live or um, just doing a little story. And then again, we've got wellness and chores. And so that is what I'm doing is just Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is YouTube. The other two days are open. And then I did leave these open because I don't have a set thing to do, but if we've got an event that comes up or I need to make a little to-do list, I can add those in later. And then of course, St. Patrick's Day is full of deco. And then we've got this down here. And I did leave the weekend box completely open so I could put whatever I wanted down there if something ends up coming up that's fun to do. So that is everything for the week of March um, 11th through the 17th. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic St. Patrick's Day. Bye!